It's me, Mr. Voice. So, this is the old Oswald reactor that is finally, finally self-sustaining without me touching anything. I finally made it such that I don't have to touch a goddamn thing. I just turn it on and let it run. Wondering how I did this here. You're probably wondering, oh my god, this is industrial process. How do you do it? Well, you will see. So, we already know this, right? Except I lower and control this so that I can control the concentration of ammonia. Look at this catalyst and they get it to a certain height. Right now, it's running too much, uh, too rich gas mixture, but I fixed that problem in downstream. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about industrial chemistry. You know, you have your upstream process, you know. That's all of your preparing your reagents, right? You know, it's like we are producing ammonia here. We have air here from this thing. And then we're drying it here. And then we have our actual reaction chamber, right? Downstream, we have to clean everything up so that we ensure only the purest products. So how do we do that? So over here, this is special. So you're probably wondering, why are there copper pieces in here? So in here is actually a mixture of oxalic acid and water. The oxalic acid is specifically there to drop out copper ions, okay? And the nitric acid that's produced in here reacts with the copper forming nitrogen dioxide. But that's not going to be wasted because this nitrogen dioxide then goes to this chamber, which is our main absorber. And since now that the concentration of nitric acid is increasing, this uh, it, the efficiency of absorption is high. Then we have a recovery chamber, which recovers any remaining yield, you know, just just to get any extra bits and we have our venturi scrubber now it's huge. yeah our venturi scrubber is not looking brown so that's good this venturi scrubber is filled with uh, sodium hydroxide and baking soda and what it's doing is not only is it scrubbing the fluids it is also keeping the pressure drop of the system manageable because in this reaction chamber this catalyst is that tightly packed now the pressure in in this part of the system is quite higher than atmospheric meanwhile over here it's where most of that pressure is lost trying to go through the catalyst right and there's also a huge pressure loss in here because there's water that's produced that then condenses and forms nitric acid here then in order to overcome this pressure drop such that you know we don't end up not producing any airflow at the high pressure side at all we have this venturi which produces pulls a vacuum which allows it to draw in more air which equalizes the pressure in both chambers i mean the pressure drop here actually increases but at least the operating pressure in this side is a lot lower than without the venturi so you can see it's fairly effective at uh, liberating our nitrogen dioxide without consuming a thing because the copper oxalates that are produced just crash out of solution and I can just keep adding more copper and you're probably wondering what can I do with all the copper oxalates well I can cook him and if I cook the copper oxalates I get copper powder back boom throw it back in easy so that copper powder will be very very I probably have some other use for it honestly